beautiful, beautiful morning. Birds are starting to move. We'll see what happens. So the last week of May, back on top of the oyster reefs, fishing for specks. Showing lots of fish on the machine. See if we can get that to translate to a bite here. Shaking its head like a speck. Oh, there's shrimp jumping here, boy. There we go. Is it going to be 12 inches? About 11 and a half. Another little one. He might make 12. He might make the cut. Now about 11 and a half again. Might be all small fish today. That's probably a sail cat there. You know, swimming straight down. Yep. Exactly what it is. I just caught about five sail cats in a row. Three little small trout. This fish here, just uh, the big ones ain't with them today. Birds want to be here. What is this? Oh, that was a keeper too. Don't nab it. Back here. In the box, in the box. Oh yes. Oh yeah, he'll be 12. He'll stretch it. He'll make it. Problem is on a windy day like today is gonna be holding a spot when you when you finally find the specks in the shrimp. We'll be holding on. Look at there, a second it goes under. I missed that one. Oh, that's a speck, that's a good one. That's the ones I'm looking for today. Fast and furious action right now. This should be a good spec here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah. It's slower than last time I came out, but every time I creep up on the birds, I do get a couple fish. I swapped to a darker shrimp, a cranberry color. Away from that natural shrimp, this is gonna be a sail cat. I can already tell. Well, if you could just stay out of these darn things, you'd have you some some nice fish at the end of the day. Oh, that's a record one. 
Cool record. I had to do this last time. I had to sort through a hundred of these things to get my 25 specs. Can't bust them up every time, but it sure would be nice to fill a box again. There's a spec. There's a spec right there. Looks like a small one again. That's probably about 11 inches. Oh, calm down, calm down, calm down. Well, they're hard to handle. 11 inches. Where's the big boys? Oh, that went under the second it hit the water. Another little one, probably. I guess some bigger trout from a few weeks ago have left and the little schoolies have moved in. Come on, come on, come on, hold still. Every one, like 11. 11 and a half. I'm going to throw a different bait underneath them to see if any, any big ones are. And this is going to be a sail cat. <laughs> uh, at least it makes you think there's some big trout here. Da -da -da -da. I'm going to start a new series called Time to Eat the Bait. And today we got a can of spiced sardines and olive oil made by Neri from Portugal. $4.99 a can. So these are on the upper end of what I usually spend for canned sardines. They got a good texture. Nice and firm. That's good. They're not hot spice. They just got a little seasoning. Takes a while for the spice to start flavoring a little bit, but it's pretty good. Nice, pretty fish. Nice, long, thick. Good bite texture. Hmm. I'll give them an A+. Plus. One little hot pimento underneath them. And you can use the sardine oil to chum the fish. Well, time to eat the baits over. Now it's time to catch some fish. Let me go see if I can find some specks. Well, the wind and the dirty water is killing me today. I haven't been able to get on them. And then when I have found pockets of them, it's been a lot of little ones. That's going to be a sail cat. <laughs> A big one. I was going to say he's not going down, but he is. <laughs> My goodness. These things are a nuisance. I found the birds in a few spots in Bay Adams and some small trout under them. Only got four keepers and uh, the wind was so strong I couldn't stay on them wind kicked my butt so I come inland throw a gold spoon inland and man that wind is blowing one good redfish hookup can salvage a day like today and I think I just got that one hookup I didn't even see him. I was just blind casting down the bank. A lot of rocks and piles around here. As a matter of fact, felt like he was just in something. The key will be to get him to stay from around that dolphin up there. Oh, he's a nice red too. <laughs> 
Fish on! <laughs> Where you at? Where you at? He's a nice fish. He's still kind of green, but I don't know. Oh boy, he's got some head shakes. He's got the moves to get away. Oh, he's, under, he's in the he's in the motor, darn it. Smarty. Smart fish. Get out from under the boat. Cut yourself off on my prop, huh? I thought he was pretty green. He's a nice bull red. Nice, nice bull red. Come on, come up. I don't see the lure on the end of his mouth, so he might have might have swallowed it. Yeah, this one will make some slabs. Stay out from under the boat. This is how fishing is. You'll have a slow day and it just takes one good fish to, to make that day, I tell you. I was not expecting a red like this right here. And I'll take him. Oh, nothing like a bull red. <laughs> nothing like a nice bull red. Especially when you ain't catching nothing. So Louisiana large, you're allowed to keep one over 27. Okay. I think this is going to be a Kubion fish here. All right. And that's how you salvage a day. Another hookup. Smaller red. I don't think he'll be a keeper. He looks like a little rat red. Yeah. Got to be 16 inches. He's going to be about 14. As you can see right here, he's about 14 and a half. 14 and a half. So what do we have in the death chest today? Four specks and one nice big red. Four specks and one red in the death chest. Not a bad trip. So made a quick trip. Was hoping to find the specks again. I found some specks under birds, but they were all small. Ended up with four keepers, barely 12, 12 and a half inches. Started working the edges and caught a nice big bull red. So one fish can salvage your day. And on a new segment I'm starting, time to eat the bait. We took a trip to Portugal and ate some Murray sardines. They were very good. Spicy sardines and oil. So till the next video, get out there and go fishing.